I was going to turn to vaccines and where we are, because we all know that there's an issue around <coughs> pharmaceutical companies being willing to, to, uh, to manufacture yeah. vaccines. So vaccines are a very complicated issue. We have extraordinarily effective vaccines for certain infections that I've mentioned before, the, eliminate, the eradication of smallpox, the elimination of polio, the complete suppression of measles. But we also have situations where we have vaccines that we know we can develop for diseases like chikungunya, but there is not the will, both from the pharmaceutical companies and even from some certain countries, to make the investments to take that concept development to a product. So at the NIH, our people at our Vaccine Research Center have a chikungunya vaccine that looks really good. Good immunogenicity, good safety, we're ready to go. We are struggling to find a partner who make that investment to help develop it with us. And then you have the other issue with the vaccine. Why? Well, because it's not a big money out. I mean, you know, when, there, are, there are a handful of pharmaceutical companies whose, whose major concern is the public health and lesser a concern. But most of the time, understandably so, Judy, that the direction a pharmaceutical company will go is in a great sense driven by their shareholders. Right. And if a pharmaceutical company is going to say, I'm going to make a product, and the product ranges from the time you make the concept to you have it on the shelf, anywhere from $700 million to $1 billion. So if you're gonna make that investment, you wanna go for a blockbuster. So if a company has the option of making a new lipid lowering agent or a better Viagra or a Viagra for women or an antihypertensive that millions and millions and millions of people will use every day, you can bet they're gonna go with that as opposed to something that almost by its nature is not gonna be very expensive because the people who are gonna need it the most are the people who can't afford it. So is there another model for getting yeah. these vaccines made? Well, that the, are government to is, prevent? Yeah, the government yeah. is trying, but we're not the full solution. Is that if you look at the spectrum between developing of a concept and making a product, there's been this partnership throughout the decades between the pharmaceutical companies and the government, which supports academic people to do the science. That we do the initial concept, maybe the phase one trial, but the company goes all the way here and takes the ball of putting the major investment. If they're not going to do that, the government makes more and more investment in trying to do what we call de-risk it for the company. Take the risk out of it to get the product almost to the point of essentially making it, and then they'll come in and do it. A lot of that was done with the Ebola vaccine. The Ebola vaccine was developed at the NIH by NIH scientists. And thank goodness we had GlaxoSmithKline to come in and partner with us to essentially produce it. 